Congress and the Senate to use that shit. All right, I'm starting the video if y'all want to start bringing some scriptures out. You want to hold this? I could do the camera. I like doing the camera. Like that shit they was doing in uh, Chicago that uh, that when the cops was kidnapping people and taking them to this the, place. Yeah, the black site. Yeah, it's probably that, what he saw by in Georgia. Probably some police shit doing that, man, with the guillotine. Other than the military. You never know with these people, man. These motherfuckers trying to get ready. Obama threw a wrench in their game, though, with these cops. He's taking their military shit away from them. Actually, they already started. They're taking it away? Taking the, the, like them big ass Humvees and shit. Yeah. They're taking that shit away from them. They already started because Ohio State. You should have saw it. They mad as hell. They they parked the motherfucker at the end of the fucking parking lot. Like we, they like they didn't care. They like doing it, they showing they just hurt. <laughs> yeah, they gonna they hurt. They took that shit, they taking that shit away immediately. Yeah, because they, they want they want civil unrest. <laughs> Cops wide, huh? They, they can just slaughter one open motherfucker. That's why you see, uh, sure, you see that shit over there in Baltimore. It's been in the news. They said just in the last month alone, 36 people done got killed up Did in Baltimore. 36 people. They Ooh. said, Day and they said cops ain't responding to calls no more. That's bad, man. They said the cops go in the hood like they get uh, surrounded by 40 people. <laughs> <laughs> they they just, scared. This is all out anarchy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's just a matter of time till it's just full scale out of control. That's good. Mm -hmm. And I knew they weren't going to be no riot up in Cleveland. It's coming. <laughs> it's they was more worried about the Cavs. Yeah, they might riot when the Cavs win the finals. That's when they'll riot in oh, Ohio. They knocked out the finals. Oh, oh. <laughs> Either oh, one. LeBron's good at getting knocked out the finals, ain't he? Yeah, What's it taste like? I think he can win it. Yeah, they should win it. Yeah. I ain't going to lie. I don't watch much sports. I ain't going to lie. I was watching the Cavs. I I'm guilty. I'm guilty. I still ain't watched it yet. I'm gonna watch the finals though. I'm gonna watch the last like yeah. couple of games. I watched them. Was, they destroyed Atlanta. LeBron had a triple double like yeah, two days ago. Yeah, he averaged a fucking triple double for the whole fucking series. That's crazy. That's yeah. fucking crazy. That's all still. Like, yeah. That's why that shit came out with FIFA. You see FIFA? Yeah, yeah. They got caught. And that's beautiful. That's beautiful. FIFA got caught. That's beautiful. Uh, fixing games and shit. They talking about totally doing away with FIFA now. They ever all the people in FIFA, the head people in FIFA getting indicted. And we've been telling people for years that all the sports are fixed. And all my friends, I tell them, all, all they do is watch football. All, they ain't got no kind of knowledge. They, ain't, they don't know shit about history. They don't know shit about the Bible, shit about the government. They don't know nothing. <laughs> but they know all those coaches, quarterbacks, and running backs, they know them stats. <laughs> and I always tell them, like, the sports is fixed, football is fixed. And they're like, that's that's not possible. And they ain't trying to hear it. But here it is, FIFA get caught. And I heard somebody talking on the, uh, talking about FIFA. And I heard uh, one, the, the Jews was behind it. Because uh, FIFA was trying to do something to the Israeli team. I think they was trying to, they was trying to kick them out or something. I don't know the full details. It's just a rumor I heard. And then the reason they're going after the, the FEMA, I said the FEMA. Mm -hmm. Going after the FIFA officials is because they was fucking with Israel. Did you hear that you from know? Dabu 7? No, I didn't. I ain't watched no Dabu 7 in a couple days. I ain't watching Dabu 7. Dabu 7, he can bring out some good news. He's just a good reporter. Get the, don't, don't be getting no philosophical beliefs from Dabu. <laughs> He's good for the news and that's it. Yeah, he get on he get on your nerves. Talking about Illuminati. He said he was inspired by Tupac. He's out of his fucking mind. He's from Ohio. He's from Cincinnati. That's right. That's right. Wisdom, Wisdom of Solomon. Four. Oh, okay, sorry. Okay. Wisdom of Solomon 2 and 10. Let us suppress the poor righteous man. Let us spare it. Let us not spare the widow. Let us reverence the ancient gray hairs of the age. Let, us, let our strength be the law of justice. For oh, that, the law of justice, that's the Bible. Right? The right way. The path of light. Not the path of darkness. These fools out here, they don't know nothing about justice. They live in the darkness. 
Oh, I got it. I got a preset for that. Go ahead. But, but that which is Woo. feeble is found to be nothing wrong. Oh, worse, sorry. Therefore, let us lie and wait for the righteous, because he is not for our turn. He is a, he is clean contrary to our doing. Right. That's why they lie lie and wait for the righteous, right? Because what we do is contrary to what these faggots do. Because people they look at us like we're evil because we speak out against these uh, these women. These women are out of order. You know what I'm saying? They call us misogynists because we call out these bitches on their whoredoms. And we call these faggots out on their faggotry. And they look at us like we're the bad guy. Go ahead. Yeah, we'll call the government out on their shit. You know what I'm saying? And, it, and they don't have a problem with that. Yeah, nobody wants to be called out. But everybody wants to complain about how bad their life is, though. Go ahead, but you just can't complain and use the Bible at the same time. <laughs> right, right. You know what I'm saying? That's where we go wrong. Don't use the Bible. Uh -uh. That's where that's where we going wrong. Uh -huh, yeah. you using that that book, that <laughs> damn book. <laughs> right. That people hate this book, man. They hate it. Even the people that's hanging out in the churches three, four days. They ago. hate it even more. Yeah. Yeah. They have a severe hatred for it. That's why they don't read it. I was up in the church. I was up in the church. Uh, what was it yesterday? Today? When did I see that? I think it might have been uh, today. Help my mom do some stuff. That I seen somebody in there reading the damn Quran. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, I know. I mean, I know it's one thing to study it, right. but I've never seen nobody even read a Bible, yeah. let alone a Quran. Yeah, it won't last long. Whoever's reading it, it ain't gonna last. They ain't gonna find no prophecies. In it. What's up, man? They ain't gonna find no prophecies in it. Well, I seen a Muslim walk up in there. They had an AA meetings up in the church. They had a Muslim walk up in there, a full guard bitch was had the face covered and everything. Wow. What kind of church is that? If I, man, if I had a church, I was a pastor. I would kick that damn heathen out. Well, I'd hit him with the truth first. If they rejected the truth, I'd kick their ass out. So these churches, man, it, like he said, these churches, have a problem with this book. They have a problem with the Bible. And something big happened, and they got pirate trucks coming from every which way. Right. That's good. Well, we hope something terrible happens. us with our offending the law hmm. and objective and objective to our infamy the transgressions of our education he professes to have the knowledge of God and he calleth himself the child of the Lord hmm. he was made to reprove our thoughts he is grievous unto us even to behold but this for his life is not like other men his ways are of other fashion we are esteemed we are esteemed of him as counterfeits he Abstaining from our ways as from filthiness, he pronounceth the end of the just to be blessed. He maketh his boast that God is his father. Let us see if his words be true. Yeah, let's see if his words be true. And it's talking about the two-thirds. The two-thirds, that's the number one enemy right now, is our own fucking people. That's the reason why we're still here. Yeah, right, that's the reason we're still here. All uh, right, go ahead. They don't even realize, calling the most high, everybody. It is right there. And they call us the devil if we do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Their name's gonna be a, uh, it's gonna be a curse to them. Like I said, counterfeit. They call us counterfeits. They say you ain't men in the Lord. You ain't prophets. I tell, I tell, I tell a bitch straight up, like bitch, I'm a prophet. She's like, you ain't no prophet. Men, of God's people, God's people don't cuss and use cuss words. I'm like, and then, then. How come the Lord said hell in the Bible? Why do you use the word damn and condemn and the word piss? You know what I'm saying? There's all kind of cuss words in the Bible. Insulting words. 
Yeah, he insulting. Yeah, that's insulting words. Like, Not cuss words. Well, they are curse words, though. Yeah. The Bible commands us to curse that's people. Right, curse words. That's right. That's right. I won't right. get a precept just to prove that since I said it. Hey, just when you just, just like when you how shy call hair out a fox. That's a curse word. You know. That's a, a fox. That's a dog. That, much. That is calling people names. That's you know, name calling. That's right. That's an ad. That's an ad hominem attack. You know what I'm saying? And we do that. We do ad hominems and we call people names. Cause uh, these fools, they they like spit to us, man. You know? I'm gonna get just real quick and let you get back to that. I just wanna get a precept to prove that that, that we are actually supposed to curse people who reject the truth. Galatians one and eight. But though we are an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel unto you that which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. So if you ain't teaching this truth the right way, curse you, okay, curse you. Let you be accursed. Go ahead and get back to that. They don't understand that. They, they still don't understand that. Why, they, that's the why, whole point. They hate that, they hate this book. Yeah, they in complete darkness. That veil is co completely covering <laughs> Yep. Go ahead with that. Is there more to that? Yeah. Wisdom of Solomon 2 and 17. Let us see if his words be true, and let us prove what shall happen in the end of him. For if the just man be the son of God, he will help him and deliver him from the hand of his enemies. Let us examine him with this, with this despitefulness and torture, that we may know his meekness and reprove and prove his patience. Let us condemn him with a shameful death, for by his own saying, he shall be respected. There go that word condemn. That's a cuss word. That's a curse word. Con, dim, with damnation. Dim means damn. With damnation. So the Lord just used cuss words. Let me read this real quick. Let me continue that, brother. 2 Corinthians 11 and 6. Uh, but though I be rude in speech, Yet not in knowledge. Yeah, so people can't handle because we rude in speech. We speak rudely. Okay, keep going. But we have been thoroughly manifested, made manifest among you in all things. In all things. But you got to speak rudely to these people. How else are you supposed to speak to them? You ain't supposed to speak sweet, soft words to them. The Bible tells you to watch out for people who speak sweet, soft words. Those enticing words. <laughs> you gotta watch out for somebody like that. Right. You know, maybe I shouldn't use so-called curse words so much. I don't know, but we we just gonna we speak rudely. We we ain't say nothing wrong. Everything we saying is true. Just the the message is harsh. What's up, bro? Have I committed an offense? Yeah, have we committed? I just said that, right? right. I, I committed. We ain't none of us committed no offenses. <laughs> Okay, we teaching the Bible the proper way, giving you the right breakdowns, teaching you the, the right way, the straight way. We ain't out here teaching no bullshit. Any versions? Yeah, how else do you uh, describe bullshit without saying the word bullshit? Creepy looking. Creepy ass cracker. Have I committed an offense in abasing myself that ye might be exalted? Because I have preached to you the gospel of the Most High freely. Right, yeah, we, we teach, yeah, right, we're speaking it freely. We're coming out here, we're giving out the truth for free. And you get mad because the way we talk, the way we look. But but they, but they don't rather go to a church where the preacher of the lies, never cusses. He's sniffing cocaine in secret, taking <laughs> everybody's right, money. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Getting yeah. He's a homosexual. He, he getting transvestites off the internet and all kind of wild weird shit. You know what I'm saying? Y'all be all gonna get down with somebody like that. What's up? That's just like that one. What's that that famous preacher that got caught with a uh, raping the little boys or having sex with little boys? Oh, you talking about that big uh, famous one? Yeah. Uh, 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 Eddie. Eddie Longstroke. Eddie, Eddie, Long. Eddie Long. What's his name? Eddie. I don't forgot, I don't his, forgot his name. It was Eddie Longstreet. It's Eddie Long. We call him Eddie Longstreet. I don't <laughs> forgot his real name. Right. But he got caught. Eddie Long. Yeah, Eddie Long. Yeah, so so the, those churches are full of shit. Man, we just say it straight out. And there's no other way to say it. I can say these churches are deceitful. But when you say they're full of shit, then the message really gets across even better. Like they're full of shit. They're teaching bullshit. So that's how you gotta talk. You gotta talk straight, man. 
can't be beating around the bush and that's what you do when you talk to women. Dude. So you can, so you yeah. Them. Yeah. Well, yeah. When you get with a woman, you like, talking like like a like a lie to her. Saying, yeah, you gotta lie to her. You got right. You gotta lie. You gotta talk smooth to a woman. You're like, baby, I ain't mean that. And you know, <laughs> well, you're supposed to lie to a woman. You ain't supposed to tell a woman your business. Nothing. Tell her nothing. nothing. People say we're wrong for saying that. You know. Well, fuck them. Acts 7 and 48. How be it the most high dwelleth not in temples made with hands. The Lord is not in none of these churches. None of them. Where the temple right here is your the temple is your body. Your body's a temple. Your spirit is a temple. This right here is the temple. Okay, the temple, the Lord said, wherever two or three are to gather together in my name, I'm there in the midst of them. Me too. Right, so that's right here. The Lord's in the midst of us right here. This is the temple. This this is the tabernacle of David. Oh, let me read you this. Um, How be the most high dwell not in temples made with hands, as said the prophet. Heaven is my throne, and earth is my footstool. What house will be built me, said the Lord? Or what? Is the place of my rest. Right. You got all these fools going to these churches. They get a church taking up donations so they can build a big giant building. Or like that one church that built the touchdown Jesus. Yeah. After it, it blew up once. They, the Lord struck touchdown Jesus with lightning. <laughs> blew that motherfucker up, caught it on fire, destroyed it. And they actually got some money together and built another one. A bigger one. A bigger <laughs> one. I mean, That's how, here in Ohio, how stupid is that? That's here in Ohio. I mean, how stupid can you be? Right, stupid. If you don't know what Touchdown Jesus is, just Google Touchdown Jesus. Right. You Get on. Take the message of the Lord burning that bitch down yeah. the first time. Get on YouTube and look up yeah. Touchdown Jesus. <laughs> I remember that shit, man. That was beautiful. And everybody across the country was climbing on that. Yeah. <laughs> Touchdown Jesus. He was just like this with his arms out. Yeah, that's right up here in Ohio. Do you see that? <laughs> yeah, that's in Ohio. Touchdown Jesus. Like, there's an idol. You know, you know that, that probably is actually Molech. That's probably Baal. And see, see that a lot of these churches, a lot, a lot of these preachers in these churches in secret are Freemasons and they're actually devil worshippers. It's just like I was listening to this dude. Uh, you ever listen to Mark Cassio? There's a get on YouTube. There's a, he don't really believe in the Bible. He's on some bugged out shit. But he said he was part of the Church of Satan, right? It, he was, he was, uh, he was ordained by Anton LaVey himself to be a priest in the Church of Satan. Wow. But he left the Church of Satan because he said he wasn't with the way they was controlling people. Yeah. And way he said he had a conscience and he couldn't do it. But he, uh, he said while he was in the Church of Satan, the Church of Satan, that uh, he found out that uh, Satanists, people who worship Satan, were in high positions of authority. That they were judges. Lawyers, doctors, cops, preachers, a lot of preachers. Because a lot of these preachers, priests, Catholic priests, Baptist preachers, they're actually devil worshippers. By day, they pretend to be a preacher. By night, they sacrifice the children. Yeah, it sounds crazy, but that's the truth. They made a movie on that. You see, there's an exorcist movie that came out. Uh, I don't know if that was the last exorcist. And they show you how this, the priest sacrificed a baby to Molech in that movie. And, and the fire showed the demon come out of the fire. Oh, shit. And it gobbled the little baby up. Wow. I gotta check that out. I forget what. It was one of the newer exorcists. It came out like 2010 or something. Maybe 2009. Somewhere around that area. Check it on <laughs> the internet and look it up. But they show you in that movie. Now, all these, a lot of these preachers are at, in secret. They worship Baal. All oh, tells you that in the scriptures too. Right there in the scriptures. I, I should get that. What, the one in Jeremiah. There's a bunch of them. Ezekiel, Jeremiah. Yeah. Oh, I'll get that one in Jeremiah. Yeah, in secret. Sitting up there on the pulpit in front of everybody with a snicker on his face. Look at all these fucking fools. I think Look I know all these what. Fools. There's one in 34. There's a good one before 34, I think. Right 
Yeah, but the preachers, that ain't the only one. And the hell with these churches. These churches are a goddamn joke. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no, ain't no way taking that shit serious. But but the, the real power is in the judges, the lawyers, uh, the governors, the mayors. All these people, they all work, they're all Satanists. A lot of them, they're Freemasons, members of the Church of Satan. Okay? And that's a fact. We finished reading that book. Okay, um, hath not my hand made all these things, ye stiff necked and uncircumcised in heart and ears? Yeah, our, our, yeah, because our people is they uncircumcised in their heart. Meaning, meaning they're living like a heathen, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. they, they're filthy. To be uncircumcised, that means you're filthy, you're unclean. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. That's what they are. They're filthy. Yep. You stiff neck and uncircumcised in heart and ears. You, 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 you do always resist the Holy Spirit as your fathers did. So do ye. Which of the prophets have not your fathers persecuted? Yeah, which one of the prophets have your... Yeah, because like, like we said, we're the prophets. And we're the prophets back in reincarnation. We've been doing this for for eternity, you know what I'm saying? We have uh, Israel, they done killed all the prophets. What, what, uh, oh, he's reading, that's what Stephen said. We just read this a couple weeks ago. That's what Stephen said, right? Which of the prophets have not your fathers persecuted? And they have slain them which showed before the coming of the just one. So how come Israel, Israel was always killing the prophets? They wasn't killing them because they had nice things to say. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Calling them out on their bullshit. They, they were getting called out on their bullshit. They, the prophets come out, told the women, stop being whores. Told the faggots, stop being faggots. You know what I'm saying? They just cursed everybody. Cursed out the preachers. They cursed. They even cursed out the king. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of wicked Israelite kings. Of whom ye, ye have been now the betrayers and murderers who have received the law by the disposition of angels and have not kept it. When they heard these things, they were cut to the heart and they gnashed on him with their teeth. Right, that's when people hear this truth, they get cut to their heart. Just like, uh, get Hebrews 4 and 12. Just like Hebrews 4 and 12 says, he about to get it. Y'all go ahead, might as well read the rest of that. But he, being full of the Holy Spirit, looked up steadfastly into heaven and saw the glory of the Most High. And your how is shy standing on the right hand of the most high. Oh, hey, that, hey, that right there proves the uh, the one they call Jesus and God is not the same. Right. Because <laughs> it, it, he seen the most high, and then he seen Yahweh Shai, the son of the most high, on the, on his right. He didn't just, just see Lord make two of himself. It was, yeah. <laughs> that that's proof right there. You know what I mean? Because you got people always try to say that, you know, the the, the, the one they call Jesus is God. And that's not that's not true. Because that's what the pork chop preacher teaches. That is what the pork chop preacher yeah. teaches. That's what the Catholic Church teaches. They teach the Trinity. Okay. And be said, Behold, I see the heavens open, and the Son of Man, and the Son of Man standing on the right hand of the Most High your house. Then they cried out with a loud voice and stopped their ears and ran upon him with one accord like vicious lions, like vicious beasts, and cast him out of the city and stoned him. And the witnesses laid down their clothes at the young man's feet, whose name was Saul. And they stoned Stephen upon, calling him, calling upon God and saying, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. And he kneeled down and cried with a loud voice, Lord, they not descend to their charge. And when he had said this, he fell asleep. Yeah. So, yeah, Stephen went out like a, like a, a like a soldier, That's you know right. what I'm saying? Like a warrior. That's right. He didn't. He didn't. Like uh, we was talking about earlier, you said somebody said that you shouldn't come out and teach because you somebody could shoot you or something. So we ain't afraid of people come out here and shoot us or pull a knife on us or do anything. We don't care. We ain't afraid of the police. We ain't afraid of shit. I wish somebody would shoot me. 
You know what I mean? That'd be a glorious death. Very like the Vikings. Where the Vikings, they said it was a disgrace for them to not to die in battle. Yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> right, just like, um, who was that? Uh, uh, somebody was in front of a gun. What's that? That was it. I'm thinking of, uh, I'm thinking of, uh, the story of Joshua. I think it was Joshua or Judges. Um, uh, dude didn't want to die by the hands of the woman. You know? Oh, okay. So he had somebody else kill him. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a, that's a disgraceful death getting killed by a woman. Killed by a woman. Yeah, because yeah, you want to have an honorable death. You just don't want to have a regular old normal death. No, homo funny faggots. You want an honorable death. You know what I mean? I got I got a scripture to back up with what I was talking about earlier. Now I was saying you got a lot of preachers out here who are in secret are actually Satanists. They worship the devil. Freemasons, Satanists. You know what I'm saying? And this is proof. And if you believe in a Bible, you deny this, then you deny the truth. Because this ain't nothing new. This has been going on for thousands of years. Jeremiah 19 and 3. Actually, I'm going to just start 19 and 1. Jeremiah 19 and 1. Thus saith the Lord, go and get a potter's earthen bottle and take of the ancients of the people and the ancients of the priest. And go forth unto the valley of the son of Hinnom. That's where you get the word Gehenna. The valley of the son of Hinnom, that's Gehenna. That's south of Jerusalem. That's where people used to sacrifice the false gods. That's where they burn their trash. And that's where the word hell comes from, or the word Gehenna. Because when you look that word hell up in the New Testament, it says Gehenna, which is the valley of the son of Hinnom, is an actual place. Okay, that's not a... Because there's no mythological fiery underworld called hell in the Bible. Okay, that's fairy tale. But it says, And go forth unto the valley of the son of Hinnom, which is by the entry of the east gate, and proclaim there the words that I shall tell thee, and say, Hear ye the word of the Lord, O kings of Judah, and the inhabitants of Jerusalem. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Behold, I will bring evil upon this place. The which whosoever hears his ears shall tingle. So your ears gonna tingle when you hear this. It says, because they have forsaken me and have estranged this place and have burnt incense in it unto other gods whom neither they nor their fathers known nor the kings of Judah and have filled this place with the blood of innocence. They have built also the high places of Baal to burn their sons with fire. See that? To burn their sons with fire for burnt offerings unto Baal, which I commanded not, nor spake it, neither came into my mind. I mean, that's the point right there. That was all the old people that was doing, the ancients of the people, meaning the elders. The elders in the church, your deacons, your preachers, your bishops, or whatever, mm. all been these churches. Everybody loved to claim to be a deacon. I'm a deacon. You know, they like them titles and all that. But in, in secret, they they have fucking devil worship. That's proof right it's in the Bible. The Bible tells you that that's how Israel do it. Jeremiah 5 and 26, for among my people, or found wicked men. Yeah, among my people, Israel is found wicked men. Because people try, you got some people say all Israelites are all righteous. But I don't know what book you're reading. They must have left out the whole, I don't know what book they read. It's not the Bible. The Bible from front to cover. I mean, from, yeah, from the front to the back. The new Quran. Right. <laughs> the whole Bible just tells you about how wicked and evil Israel is. Well, two thirds of Israel. He's always had a righteous, a righteous remnant. But the Lord said he had keep a remnant in the house of David. And this is the house of David, the tabernacle of David. For among my people are found wicked men. They lay wait. They lay wait. As he that set a snares, they set a trap. They set a trap for your ass. They catch. Men. They catch men. Oh, that's like all these fake ass churches. They catch you. 
That's like a bear trap. You stepping up in there. They got some goodies and shit up in the middle of the trap. You know what I mean? You fall for that shit. That's just like all them fake ass Israelite groups on YouTube. Like the IUICs. Uh, what's some other faggots on YouTube? What, what was that scripture you read, bro? Where is that? Jeremiah 19. That was Jeremiah 19. Yeah, the whole book of Jeremiah is all talking about how how wicked Israel was. The whole book. Here you go. This is Jeremiah 7 and 4. Trust ye not in lying words, saying, The temple of the Lord, the temple of the Lord, the temple of the Lord are these. For if ye thoroughly amended your ways and your doings, if you thoroughly ex execute judgment between a man and his neighbor, if ye oppress not the stranger, the fatherless, the widow, and shed not innocent blood in this place, neither walk after other gods to your hurt, then will I cause you to dwell in this place, in the land that I gave to your fathers forever and ever. Behold, ye trust in lying words that cannot profit. Will ye still murder and commit adultery and swear <laughs> falsely and burn incense unto Baal and walk after other gods whom ye know not and come and stand before me in this house which is called by my name and say we are delivered to do all these abominations. Is this house which is called by my name become a den of robbers in your eyes? Behold, even I have seen it, said the Lord. So even like you see these Catholics, they always burn that incense, don't they? Yeah. They got the censer. They be rocking that censer back and forth. What? Well, the, the Pope wearing the, the fish hat. Some they, stinking incense. And they got all this uh, demonic uh, symbolism all over the place and demonic rituals. and So they, they, re they really actually burn an incense to Baal, actually. You know what I'm saying? It's really Baal worship. That's why, that's why they celebrate Christmas. Christmas is the day you worship Baal. As back in the Romans, uh, what did they uh, celebrate Saturnalia during that time? Where they worship Saturn. And Saturn is another name for Baal. That's where you get Saturn L. You get Saturn L, you like, you know, L. The, the Saturn L is a, the bull god. That's why he's always represented by a bull. That's why the Israelites was always uh, making those golden calves. And that's, and that's why uh, a lot of these preachers, they wear all black. Like the Catholic priests, they dress in all black. And that's the color of Saturn. That's why the judges in the courthouse dress in all black. That goes back to the worship of Baal. Ezekiel 13 and 1. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy against the prophets of Israel that prophesy, and say thou unto them that prophesy out of their own hearts, Hear ye the word of the Lord. Hear ye the word of Yahweh. Okay. Keep going. Thus said the Lord Power, Go unto the foolish prophets that follow their own spirit and have seen nothing. Yeah, that's like them, like all these fake prophets on YouTube. You got all kind of people on YouTube teaching all kind of madness. Starting with IUIC, GOCC, and all, and all these other Bible teachers. There's so many Bible teachers on YouTube, it's ridiculous. Yeah, no, none of them know the scriptures. And there's more women than men. Well, it's, it's always the women. It's so full of women, man, teaching shit. Teaching shit. Then you say you seen Comfy's people with a woman teaching? Oh yeah, big fat. Oh, she was kind of cute though. A, a, a little fat little bitch, man. Thick bitch. Thick ass fat bitch, man. Teaching, giving instruction. Get, get that, get this scripture. I was tripping. You know, my eyes was like tripping, man. I couldn't believe what I was watching, man. They've been castrated. Yeah, they done went to a whole new level with that shit. Man. Yeah, we remember the girl you see that was right there. Uh, 
Somebody set that up, I'm like, I'm out. Man, that's some awkward shit. Man. I'm out of here. That's awkward. Y'all have fun with that. I'm, I'm, I'm done. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. When you see somebody put a woman in charge of you, hey, that, that goes in Isaiah. The women shall rule over you. Yep, yep, yep. Women, they, they oppose that lead thing. Yeah. Oh, they the lead thing called, yeah. Yep, yep. Go off, go off track. Woman is God. Right. And then they say, you got people out here saying you got to respect the women. The Bible said there's no respect to persons. We ain't got to respect nobody. That's right. If people ain't coming out the word out the word of the Lord, we ain't got to respect you. Here you go. First uh, 3, 13 3. Ezekiel 13 3. Thus said the Lord power, go unto the foolish prophets. Hold on. Yeah, woe unto these foolish ass prophets. Woe unto these preachers. Going to all you fake ass teachers on YouTube. But not, not just the preachers either. You got all kind of bugged out teachers now. People teaching all that new age madness. People teaching about you gotta get your chakras up. People teaching about uh Kemet. You got a lot of people into that Egyptian shit. You know what I'm saying? And they ain't, they ain't seen no visions. Egyptian shit. Yeah, they, they, they worship the dunk beetle. You know, they, 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 they give praise and uh, adulation to the dung beetle. They wear dung beetle ornaments. Yeah, they sure do dunk beetle. But they be like, nah, but you don't understand, though, because the dung beetle, he rolls up the dookie. And, <laughs> and, and, and to, and he said it goes. It does. He said he rolls it up into the same way that the Milky Way is going. <laughs> He says it's in tune with the cosmos. A dung beetle that's rolling up shit. And they take that whole dung beetle rolling up shit wow. and make a doctrine out of it. Wow. I done had the discussion. I've seen ornaments, though. Yeah. I've seen gold ornaments. I done I, had, I've seen that in real life, the old real gold ornaments, man. I have had multiple Egyptologists break this down to me. And they, there's an actual doctrine behind the dung beetle. <laughs> a, a fucking a dung is shit, if you didn't know. <laughs> Then they, wor then they worship cats and bulls. Uh -huh. But how stupid can you be to be a uh, penis? Pen oh. Yeah, what kind of religion, a uh, belief system, what kind of spirituality goes in a rex, get a rex, giant penis statues everywhere, all this obelisk. Who the hell does, <laughs> that's disturbing. <laughs> Go and putting giant penis statues everywhere. That's why, like, just like the thing, same thing as the Washington Monument. They get them on camera. America's mighty. Oh, oh, no. Oh, oh. No, seriously, I have agents, dude. That's fake. Nobody trying to report you. Huh? Nobody trying to report you. No, he is. Ain't no way worried about none of y'all. No, he ain't. Can so we get you on camera? Our video you might get. You said, did you say you got AIDS? Did he just say he got AIDS? It sounded like he said he got AIDS. It didn't sound like that. Yeah. It didn't sound like that. That's what it sounded like. Yeah, keep walking. And we put get them on camera, our video get flagged. I hate them. You know what I'm saying? I hate them. There's a whole pack of sodomites walk by. I'm trying to cool myself down with them. And they're the most rude people too. The homosexuals are always the most rude. The white ones cool. They act cool, more social, more accepting. But these niggas fast, man. You know, not that I'm trying to say yeah, white. Yeah, right. I know who that is. These black motherfucking I know, I know exactly. Some goddamn what black saying. creatures. And they, they're all boisterous with their shit. Mm -hmm. Right, right, right. And they always rude, disrespectful. They won't say we're disrespectful. People say we're disrespectful, but they cool with these faggots run, walking down the street. All disorderly, you know what I'm saying? Acting like they're running shit, like they're in charge. You know what I'm saying? Just talking all proud. That's why the Lord just needed to destroy this shit, man. That's why we pray to the Lord. We pray to the name of Yahweh, by some Yahweh Shai. The Lord just destroys all this shit, man. It's, it's real near. It's real near. It's coming quick too. 
Thus you. said the Lord Power, walk unto this foolish prophet that follow their own spirit and have seen nothing. But you guys up, some prophets, some preachers, they accept that into their church. I've seen it with my own eyes. I've been up in a church before and they got transvestites up in their congregation. You seen a picture I showed you? The thing you sent me when it was uh, they, 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 a discussion with transvestites. Yeah, they had a meeting how they could fight for transsexuals' rights. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And people were like, well, you need to be forgiving. I'll, I'll forgive them on the other end. Yeah. <laughs> you know. But forget to forgive somebody, they gotta repent. They gotta ask for forgiveness. Right, right. And, right. and a fucking transvestite freak ain't gonna ask for forgiveness. Hell no. It ain't gonna happen. That is some foul shit we living in, man. Like we was talking before, remember how the, the prophets, they had visions of the future and they get sick? Yeah, hell yeah, they see that vision. Yeah. Back in the ancient they, world? They saw this. Now, we actually living in it yeah, now. Yeah, right, right. I mean, I actually yeah, get we sick. We sick continuously. I get sick yeah. in my stomach just yeah. when I look around and I see the filth. Yeah. It's like all the concrete and all this nasty shit everywhere. It just makes me want to puke. You see faggots walking down the street, bitches running their mouths. Faggots with pink hair. You make it, you know what I'm saying? It's just, you, you make you sick to your stomach. You can't make this shit up, man. We live, we live in hell. This is a hell hole. Ye have not gone up into the gaps, neither made up the heads for the house of Israel to stand in the battle in the day of the Lord. They have seen vanity and lying divination, saying, The Lord said, and the Lord hath not now, sent them. Now you always get that too. You always got these crazy ass preachers. They got a new end date. And my the Lord's coming back on September 28th. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right. They all confused after that uh, man calendar ran down. Plus the, the, the year in the past. Oh, the 2012? Yeah, hey, they did get something right. They, they predicted Lil Wayne. Oh yeah, yeah, they predicted. Yeah, that's some funny shit. But they got a new date though. They got your boy. Uh, they're talking about the blood moon tetrards. And then there's one more left. Or yeah, cause it's September. I think it was September 28th. That's why I was. Yeah. They, there's always they always got a new end date every couple months. That's the end of. That's just a clown trying to get views. Yeah, shit. trying to get, and they do get views. Hey, man, you may if you make a prediction date on YouTube, put some good music in the video, man, you should have a 50,000 views in a week. That should have go viral. Cause Jake be on YouTube bugged out of his mind. See, that's the thing I learned. The more bugged out shit that you teach, the more views you will get. If we got out here just start talking about some bugged out shit about the Anunnaki and ancient aliens and DNA manipulation and Nibiru and Planet X, if we just went all out, talk about mermen and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. if we just went crazy talking about reptilians and all kind of predicting dates, man. We'd have a hundred thousand views, two million followers, subscribers. We'd be blowing up. That's what that scripture's talking about. Because Israel, like Israel, uh, Israel's a sucker. He's, he's retarded. He's easily deceived. And they have made others to hope that they would confirm them. Let me start all over at the stop of city. They have seen vanity and lying divination, saying, The Lord said, and the Lord has not sent them. And they have made others to hope that they would confirm the word. Have ye not seen a vain vision? And have ye not spoken a lying divination? Whereas ye say, the Lord saith, albeit I have not spoken. Yeah. Therefore, thus said the Lord power, because ye have spoken vanity and seen lies. Oh shit, then you got, yeah, you got some people too. They give you a false vision of it. America's actually the kingdom of heaven and we're going, we're going to get America back. And we're going, we're going to save this country. That's fair, Constable. We're going to save, oh yeah, we're going to build That's this. Fair, we're going to build this into a mighty nation. Build all this land, get by as much land as we can. Yeah. That's fair, Constable. That's another, that's another vain vision. Oh yeah, those even your boy Peraza was on that shit too, talking about buying land and yeah, yeah, they, yeah. people think they can actually build the kingdom up right here in this field. It ain't gonna happen. Ain't gonna happen. It's just about to be destroyed. Then you see that that news article. I try to send it to you. My phone's all fucked up. 
But I seen it was in Info Wars. It's probably on other sites too, but it is this top NATO official said that he predicts a war this summer. And he said he, he hopes it's not nuclear. <laughs> Hey, the scripture says it's going to happen, it's going to happen, buddy. Yep. Hey, even your boy Alex Jones got a vain vision. Talking about, we're going to turn this thing around. <laughs> that I, sound like I, that. I like your boy Jordan Maxwell better than him. Your boy Jordan Maxwell be like, there's no hope. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, there's no hope. I got to listen to Jordan Maxwell. Even though know, he's full of shit. Yeah, I ain't heard it. I ain't heard that Mason. Is that that 90-year-old motherfucker? Yeah, he old. He got old, all them yeah, scholars. Yeah. He, he old nigga, he, man. He, he got, loves niggas, man. You know, he loves hanging around them. Old school rappers and shit, yeah. you know. Man, he man, he gets he gets some shit right, a lot of shit wrong. Words and shit. Yeah. As far as going to court, but dealing it, with the court system. Yeah, I was he listening. Is, he is clever with that. No, I'm thinking it's someone I mean, else. We used is. to watch him all oh, the time. Oh, Session. He nah. only knows the same shit these these judges already know. Yeah. He just bring it out. Yep. You know. Yeah. Then he, again, he's, it's probably his job to be an undercover, low key recruiter. Yeah, because at the same right, because at the same time, I don't know. They say he really is broke as fuck. I don't know, but he deserves to be broke as fuck. Because he says he the looks sick as fuck though. Because he says the Bible's astro theology. Oh. That he That's what him believes. Yeah. But he got one thing right, and he said there's no hope for this shit. There ain't no fucking hope. I gotta listen to some poor back to it, man. <laughs> <laughs> I always like this to death. Yeah. I mean, can will bring out some good shit, you know. Yeah, you all together, yeah. I listen to goddamn David Ike sometimes with his crazy ass. You know what I mean? <laughs> this shit too long, man. Yeah, he been making eight the, hours. He'll go eight <laughs> hours on your ass, and you don't know what the fuck what he fuck said. You don't know what the fuck he talking about. Like, <laughs> <laughs> don't know what the fuck he talking about. I mean, that's about. another one of those uh, those false prophets, though. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Put you in the hospital, man. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Who saw some other crazy people? Oh, he asked me if he's drinking blood too. You ever drink blood before? Not yet, <laughs> not yet. He just takes it in the <laughs> ass. You're right, you're right, you're right. <laughs> yeah, at least you just fuck with some people. <laughs> That's where the action's at, just fucking with people. That's why you gotta get on the streets, man. What's up, bro? Prophet right there. Yeah, of course they all trying to be like the, the, the Martin Luther. Right? Yeah, they try to be like MLK. That's their, that's their God. And MLK that stands for Moloch. Well, it really means king, but you know we can joke and say it means Moloch, right. Molech. <laughs> but again, because uh, they put him on a on a pedestal, like he's some kind of great hero. First of all, he was a goddamn communist homosexual. A goddamn faggot. A fucking faggot. Fucking sperm guzzler. Fucking, fucking boule society. He was a communist, a goddamn communist. If he didn't like that with those, you know. Oh, you, I was watching uh, uh, the Alex Jones show. Did you see Joe Biggs was down there talking to the communists? No. Nah. They got communists all oh, up, yeah, yeah. All up in Cleveland. They, they got the communist party, they they got communists behind all these protests and shit. Because that's how the communists do shit. They, they, uh, they take over through violent revolutions. They turn the poor against the rich, the black against the white. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's how they do shit. Cause they just came out and dude George Soros gave the Ferguson protesters thirty million dollars. And then they said Jay Z has been uh, bailing people out of jail. Wow. You hear about that? Uh, they said Jay. They said Jay Z been pro seen bailing protesters out of jail. Wow. That's cause Jay Jay Z. Everybody know Jay Z and his Illuminati symbols. I ain't gonna do it. They were like, see, you Illuminati. Yeah, devil yeah, everybody know about Jay-Z. He worships the devil. He, he, he got work with his Aleister Crowley shirts. Black devil. The Do Is Thou Wilt shirts. Yeah, he's the, he's a devil. He's a black devil. He has that uh, song, uh, that song Lucifer, Son in the Morning, where, where you play it backwards, it says murder, murder, Jesus. Wow. You know what I'm saying? 
So everybody knows he's the devil. And here it is. He, he's back and he's protesters. So what does that tell you? Because he, he's linked in with the elite. They using his ass as an instrument. And he's a black face. You know what I'm saying? They, they use him to, uh, to trick Israel. Because Israel is retarded. You see the new Snoop Dogg video? Oh, I heard about it. I didn't Mark want to Dice it. made a video about it, talking about he's telling everyone to put down their guns and oh, move yeah. out Hollywood and be gay. See that? Yeah, Snoop's bugged out. Uh, LeBron James, you got to see the video he made. He dressed as a homosexual with a uh, weird beat weep on dancing and shit with oh, fans fuck. and lesbians. It was a real video, man. LeBron James be doing that. Does he? He throws up some kind of weird. It looks stuff. like that Vogue shit they was doing in the US, man. You just gotta see the wear shit that LeBron was doing, man. I wasn't surprised though, cause he's doing it in this generation. This is generation of people, man. It's, he's part it's, of this. It because it gets worse and worse yeah. each generation. Yeah. It gets worse and, and you worse. You should see after in the, um, the video they got with him and his teammates. They all naked, drinking champagne, all close to each That's other gay and shit. Fuck. Celebrating together and shit, man. That's how they get so close and mm -hmm. work good as a team. They butt fuck each other. Yeah. Actually, that's probably true. Yeah. They do shit like that. Tom Brady said he touches his sinner's ass more than his wife's. <laughs> he actually said that out of his own mouth. Too. I remember that too. And they think it's cool to make jokes like that. Look, that's not cool, man. I know some people might make a joke like that just because they're part of the world. Right. But look, that's not cool. You don't say certain shit you just don't say. Right, because a lot of them motherfuckers are faggots, but they want that shit to be on the low low, man. Don't be talking yeah, about yeah. you know, bring this shit out. Just like when uh, Richard Pryor was talking about, uh, uh, I can't remember that nigga's name, man. He helped him write some of um, the Ball head dude, uh, damn. Oh, fuck it. But anyway, Richard Pryor gave a fag, made a fag joke, but the, it, if you listen to how Richard said, it was like, oh, damn. Just speaking some really reality shit. Cause dude looked at him like, damn, I can't believe you said that. You know, like, damn, nigga, shut up. What's his name? What is his fucking name? Damn. Tony. Cooney. Cooney. Uh, Cooney. Fuck, I can't think of his name. Fuck. Oh, no, that's before my time. What is it, back early 80s? Nah, it's on. Late 70s? That comedy shit was in the 90s. Oh, the 90s? Yeah, it was on his oh, last good. roast. Was oh, okay. Before he was crippled and fucked up. Alright. His last roast. What in the fuck is that nigga's name? Oh, I know. He was talking about uh, not oh. not sure that, or what He's was talking his about, name? Uh, uh, Paul Mooney. Paul Mooney. Paul Mooney. Paul Mooney. Mooney. Yes. Yes. Negro yes. Domus. Uh, Paul Mooney looked at him like, I can't say that shit. <laughs> Yeah, oh, they come out with it on a roast, don't they? Yeah, Rich Pryor said he sucked dick before. One joke, and one a comedy, and one a skit. <laughs> he said he sucked dick before. <laughs> like when I, when I remember I told you about the the uh, the, 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 the fag thing that um the uh, the Mexican dude that was put to death who brought out when the wrong child was talking to him about the chip chipping people. What's his name? Uh, um, you talking about the Italian Aaron Russo? Aaron Russo. When um that. Thing he organized for homosexual. Rich probably got to the stage. Was like, yeah, I sucked a dick before, and he started to went off cussing them fags out, man. cutting them all off, man. But I really didn't know that. Wow, that's a goddamn tear. Talking like that. She has some saggy ass titties. He's probably had about a dozen abortions already. Yeah. That, did you like that bitch on that Alice Jones video? You see that the one that the dude Element was in? And that bitch, they, they asked, they was talking about abortions, and she looked at him, she's like, I oh, kill yeah. my kids. Right, 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 yeah. yeah I actually, kill my kids. She yeah. actually said she kills her kids. Listen to that shit. Man, that's just garbage. That's, that sound like some, sound like some bone thugs and harmony mixed with diarrhea. You know who that is? Nah. I have no idea. I don't they bumping it. I just feel like it's the shit. I don't listen to that shit. I, I would be embarrassed if I let somebody hear me listen to that. Yeah, the music they listen to it got no kind of substance or nothing. Goes the Unabomber. Yeah, <laughs> Unabomber. <laughs> it is Ted Krasinski. I ain't fucking with him. That's a freaky He'll really blow your ass up. He go motherfucking Avoria Theater on us. You didn't get him on camera, did you? You gotta get him on camera. I did. Oh, okay.
I was zoomed in, on it. He really looked like the Unabomber that wanted picture. Or the FBI yeah, picture yeah, of the yeah, Unabomber. Yeah, yeah. That was really him. And it came out, the Unabomber was CIA, wasn't it? The FBI. He was linked in, so I can't remember exactly. So all, all, all these uh, so-called terrorists usually end up to be CIA or FBI. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every time. Never fails. CIA used them. Set them yeah. up. Just like the Oklahoma City bombing. That was that, uh, Timothy McVeigh. He was just a patsy. That was a, that was an inside job. The government blew that shit. It blew the little children up. You know, just like 9/11. I remember that shit like it was yesterday. Yeah, I remember. What 90? What was that? 94, 95? 94, 94, 95. So, so somewhere I can't remember. I was glued to the TV, man. That shit was amazing, man. They had they had me believing Timothy McVeigh was the one that did it. I was I was in the world. I didn't know what was going on. But now every time a terrorist attack happens, I hey, see, we hey, see. What, up, hey, what up? We see it with a different set of eyes. Yeah. Oh, they, a scientist, some scientists did a study and they say 99% of conspiracy people believe anything they hear. Just to yeah, that's just, that's just another one of those disinformation uh, campaigns. That's all that is, yeah. they, anybody can do a study. They got a new goddamn study every five minutes. We did a study. I heard a study like a couple months ago that said apples are bad for you. Yeah, yeah, I've heard that shit too. So I heard that tomatoes too, bad for you. You need a roadside like growing shit to tell you you're supposed to eat it, but it's bad for you. That makes a lot of sense. Well, they love to use that word conspiracy theory. That apple got so much fiber in it, man, it's amazing. You that, can't shit, eat some apples. That word conspiracy theorist. That's one of those buzzwords, just like the word racist. Yeah, you yeah, call someone yeah. a racist or call them a conspiracy theorist and you automatically discredit them. You know what I'm saying? So don't listen to them fools. Yeah, they're racist. Don't listen to them. Like, oh, I ain't fucking with them. They're racist. Just like that. Boom. I ain't fucking with you. Dis you know what I mean? Oh, you're an anti-Semite. That's the big one. Yeah. An anti-Semite. This dude was riding on his bike all top heavy and shit. He might have fall. Oh, shit. shit might cave in. That's my dude, man. What's up, homie? That's my dude right there. He looks like he's from Massachusetts or something. He's about to get fucked up. I bet he could drink a fucking Ooh, a 24 pack of yeah, okay. <laughs> Hey, Drink your ass under the table. For real. I know people like that, man, that just wake up older past two, 70s, 60s, 70s, 80s, wake up in the morning, meet them, drinking moonshine. They don't drink no regular Oh, uh, damn. I was about to say, that's my brother, Luke. Drinking Until moonshine. you said moonshine. Moonshine. I, I don't think my brother can even do moonshine like that. That's crazy. Man. That's fucking crazy. Yeah, my brother is a true alcoholic, though. Now, my brother's a true crackhead. Damn. Well, my, my sister's got AIDS. I got you beat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I don't know. My sister's might have it too. The way, the way they going. Your brother <laughs> might with this bloody butthole. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> so we got some fucked up families, man. Yeah. You know what they call? We got some dysfunctional families. Uh, hold on. Not that oh. shit. Go ahead. Uh, bring it in. Bring it out. Jeremiah 28, I mean 23 and uh, 26. How long shall this be in the heart of the prophets that prophesy lies? Yea, there are prophets of deceit of their own heart, which think to cause my people f to forget my name. Well, all right, to forget my name. Right. What's the Lord's name? The Lord's name is Yahweh, and his son's name is Yahweh Shai. You got a lot of people out there that, that say it doesn't matter what you call him. Just call on Jesus and just call on God. He got many names. Yeah, right. They say he has many Trump names. Wars. They say you can call him whatever call name you want. Wars. They was harmonizing. Right. <laughs> they drunk as hell. They, they fucked up. They probably stoned because that's why they bitch his hand out the window. That bitch fucked up. Y'all should come talk to us. Come give me some pussy. Yeah. Give me your number. Y'all want to shoot some dope? <laughs> you can smell the alcohol from here. Yeah, them bitches look cool, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Them bitches, they yeah, was in... Wait, wait. Oh, did they? Yeah, they was in the spirit. Look at some pussy shit. You know 
make yourself useful. Oh, they Stop coming safe. over here. Hey, they should come over here. That's smart. I'll go ahead and bring that up. This thing to cause my people to forget my name by the dreams which they tell every man to his neighbor, as their father has forgotten my name for Bayo. Right, right. For, for who? Forgot the name for who? Bayo. 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 Everybody said it different. Some people say bile. When you look it up in the Hebrew, it's actually bile. Like bile is B I L. Which means Lord, but in the negative sense. You know what right, I mean? Right, right. It's talking about the devil. It's talking about Saturn L. He got a bunch of names. Shit, and uh, the, the Canaanites, they worship Baal. But the Greeks called him Zeus. You know what I'm saying? It's the same thing. Zeus is the, the same thing as Baal. Cause you know, you know the uh, even Zeus is represented by a bull, just at like a uh, and an eagle too. Yeah, yeah. Just like Marduk was, was the Babylonian version of Baal, and he was uh, represented by a bull too. And that's why the Israelites were always making them golden calves. That's why the Egyptians had the Apis bull they was worshiping. Worship? How stupid can you be to worship a bull? A fucking bull. I mean, how fucking retarded is that? Go flat, buddy. Bullshit. It remind me of Truth Diarcy talking about that shit. That's all he talks about. Like the bullshit. Yeah, I'd like to get Truth Diarcy out here. Or get him on camera. We'd fuck him up. He'll get you in an arm bar. Yeah, he want to fight me. He's like, yeah, talk that shit now. I think he a jujitsu expert. <laughs> That is a douchebag. Is there, you got more to that? Let me bring more to that up. The prophet, the prophet that have, have the dream, let him tell a dream. And he that have my word, let him speak faithfully. What is the calf to the weak? Zeb Yahweh. Is not my word like as fire? Zeb Yahweh and like, and, and like a hammer that, that, that break up the rock in pieces? Right, because this word is fire. I got a precept for that. So this word is fire. It's like a hammer to break a rock in pieces. Because we, we destroy all lies and all falsehoods. You come up here with any of your bullshit doctors and teachings, and any of your so-called knowledge you got, we would destroy everything you ever know. You know what I mean? Well, we'd be breaking down strongholds. We hit you with that hammer like, BAM! All your teeth fall out and everything. Right. Well, spiritually speaking, we ain't really gonna knock your teeth out. Well, fuck your whole, the, the Lord will fuck your whole spirit up, man. We have the superior truth. We have the superior teaching. We have the superior doctrine. We have the only doctrine. The, this is the only truth. Here you go. This is June 3. Beloved, when I gave all diligence to, to write unto you of the common salvation, it was needful for me to write unto you and exhort you that ye should earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. You gotta earnestly contend, meaning you gotta you gotta get out here, put in the word, get on YouTube, comment boards. I mean, you gotta do whatever you can to, to push the truth and to convert people. Go ahead. For there are certain men crept and unawares who were before the Lord ordained to this condemnation ungodly men. Ungodly men. Turning the grace of our power into the, the, the let's, let's, let's just straight up tongue twister for me for some reason. Lasciviousness. Let's, let's viciousness. Let's, 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 and denying the holy Lord Yahweh and our Lord, the, the anointed Yahweh Shah. It's all right. I'll be fucking all kind of words up. <laughs> but that word, I can never yeah. get it for some reason, man. That's suspiciousness. <laughs> That is crazy. Yeah, but man, you got all kind of people who sneak in, you know, the creep, the, the crept in unaware, you know what I'm saying? Teach them bullshit. <laughs> uh, I would think, did you have some, somebody have some? I got a precept for that scripture oh, he read. The fire. Yeah. Psalms 104, 1. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Yahweh, my power, thou art very great. Thou art clothed with honor and majesty. Who covers thyself with light as with a garment, who stretches out the heavens like a curtain, who laved the beams of his chambers in the waters, talking about the outer space, 
who make up the clouds his chariot. Talking about a so-called UFO. Hey, that proves that when you see that word clouds, when you said how the Lord was received by a cloud in the book of Acts, that's talking about a so-called UFO, that's a chariot, mm. okay? When the scripture said, behold, he cometh with clouds in Revelation 1, that's talking about those chariots. Who laid the beams of his chambers in the waters, who make up the clouds, that who make up the clouds his chariot, who walketh upon the wings of the wind, that the Lord, he, he fly in the sky. And when the Lord coming back, he coming out of the sky with legions of angels. I smell that. He said, but this is the point I want to make. He said. Damn, that's a funky smell. That's, that was some, some cheap ass cologne. That yeah, that's that cheap man. ass uh, shampoo. That's that Dallas shampoo. Mixed with that pussy. Got it from the Dallas store. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, oldies. She got it from oldies. <laughs> <laughs> right. right. <laughs> Man, it's stick, man. It took a bath with some oldies uh, dish soap detergent. <laughs> <laughs> but it's the point I wanted to make. It said, uh, it said, who maketh his angels spirits, his ministers a flaming fire. Because those angels are flames of fire, and we're flames of fire too. The angels are our brothers. That's why we come out here, we're like, we got a fire burning in us. You know what I'm saying, Brandon? The Lord said, uh, we got to walk as children as light. But fire is light. So we got that fire in our spirits and our soul. Mm. Just like that scripture said about the, the five that was wise and five that was foolish. You know, you, how you got to keep oil in your lamp. You got to keep that fire burning. Yeah, that's right. You know what I mean? And that's why the Lord said he came to baptize with fire. Oh, we should get that scripture. When the Lord say he's going to baptize with fire. Um. I'm trying to think of where that is. Yeah. It's at the beginning of the gospel. Oh, okay, I'm thinking of another one. <laughs> Let me go find this one. That's from my lesson I did yesterday. Oh yeah, I, I was in the right spot. What am I doing? I'm like, stay, I'm right on Matthew 3 and it's right here in Matthew 3. Oh well, I be slipping all the time. Yeah, study more, huh? Uh, Still need to show myself a proof. Okay. I'm gonna just read uh, Matthew three. Sure. Matthew three and nine. I don't know where to start, but this is talking about John the Baptist. Because it starts out Matthew three and one. In those days, John the Baptist came preaching. In the wilderness of Judea. I'm just gonna read it all and say, "Repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand." Ain't that what we doing? We telling the people repent, because the kingdom is at hand. For this is he that was spoken of by the prophet Isaiah, saying, "The voice of one crying in the wilderness, prepare, make the way of the Lord, make his path straight." And the same John had his remnant, his clothes of camel's hair and a leather girdle about his loins and his meat was locusts and wild honey. So if these fools seen John the Baptist today, they, they would say he looked like he was homeless. They would make fun of him. They'd be like, what's that shit you wearing? Look all dirty. Looking like a bum. Wearing that bullshit. They would curse John the Baptist out. Because these people are evil. Call the police, call the man. They'll call, they call the cops on him. Well, John the Baptist got locked up. You know what I'm saying? Then they chopped his head off. 
He act like he said he probably got turned in by his own people. Yeah, yeah. It said, and uh, then went out to him uh, Jerusalem and all Judea and all the region round right about Jordan, and were baptized of him in Jordan, confessing their sins. But when he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees come to his baptism, he said unto them, this is pretty much what he said to the preachers. This is the same thing we saying to the to the, uh, the, the the clergy of the churches and stuff, right? Of modern times. He said, O generation of vipers, who hath warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Bring forth therefore fruits meet for repentance. And think not to say within yourselves, we have Abraham to our father. For I, ask, for I say unto you, God is able to, uh, to God is able of these stones to raise up children under Abraham. Oh. But yeah, you got a lot of people who know they Israelites now, and they think they're better than uh, some people just because I'm an Israelite. Abraham's my father. I descend from Jacob. That don't mean shit. That don't mean a damn thing. It says, because uh, the only thing that matters is, is your faith. It says, and now also, and now also the axe is laid unto the root of the trees. Therefore, every tree which bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. So any fruit tree that don't bring forth good fruit going to get cast into the fire. Okay, you're going to be destroyed. I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance, but he that cometh after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. That's right. Whose fan is in his hand, and he will thoroughly purge his floor and gather his wheat into the garner, but he will burn up the chaff with unquenchable fire. That's some fire right there, ain't it? Oh, well, that's why he said that word is fire. It's all about, you know what I mean? The Lord gonna bring that physical fire. Spiritually, we burn these motherfuckers up with the word right now. Oh, just what we're gonna get up to that fire. I gotta get a precept. I gotta bring out one of one of them the old favorites. Just real quick. Isaiah 66 and 15. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh and the slain. Actually, let me back up. I skipped the scripture. Isaiah 66 and 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh and the slain of the Lord shall be many. Many. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, clap for that. Goddamn wicked ass devil. Yeah, so the Lord gonna destroy America with fire for all this wickedness. Goddamn faggots and lesbians. All these fat, yeah, all you faggots. Adulterers. All, all you adulterous women. You all gonna get burnt with that unquenchable fire. Goddamn Muslims. Yeah, God, God, get them goddamn heathens on Muslim camera. Holes. Out here trying to be Americanized, you know. Yeah, hey, y'all escape from your heathen's country so you come to America and commit adultery. Y'all should have stayed in your heathen country. Y'all instead chose to come to the country of Satan because America is the kingdom of Satan, okay? In, in a righteous kingdom, ain't no goddamn Muslims gonna be walking around, okay? Come here and be worse off, man. God That's damn crazy, heathen. man. Come here and be worse off. They getting all of pinned ISIS over there beheading Christians as we speak. Oh yeah, because they think yeah, because ISIS they, boy, they set up by the government too. But you got Muslims, Muslims are murderers, bro. They they are murderers, bloodthirsty, and bloodthirsty heathens is what they are. For real. And people always try to say that our people was wrong because well because of the Crusades. The only thing we did we was just protecting our own people from them uh, crazy ass Muslims. That's what the Crusades was about was protecting our people from them crazy ass goddamn Muslims. And the Muslims, they was they was invading all of our lands. They done conquered all of North Africa. Because all of North Africa used to be all so-called Christians. So the Muslims came through and they forced 
forcibly converted everybody by the sword. See, Muslims don't convert people through truth and through love. You know what I'm saying? They, they don't convert you through truth, but through a, through a discourse. They don't come up, Muslims don't debate. You know what I mean? Oh, they, they're just violent. They just chop your goddamn head off. So, you know the Quran says that there's sperm coming in between your uh, rib cage and your spine. What? They said sperm what? It says there's sperm coming in between your, uh, your rib cage, in between your rib cage and your, uh, your spine. Wow. I ain't never heard that one. Them Muslims is retarded, man. Yeah. They're they're saying, they're also in the Quran that Mary is the most honorable of all women. I mean, Mary was an honorable woman, but she wasn't, they like that. Yeah, she Mary wasn't the immaculate, right, right. the immaculate, perfect, beautiful right. queen of heaven. Well, when, you know what I'm saying? The Lord shut that shit down when the woman said to him, blessed the womb that you came out of, you know? Yeah. The Lord put that shit, they shut that shit down immediately. Honor, it's the most honorable fucking thing. And I saw a fucking ad, ham, uh, Hamite Muslim with that on the back of his car. The whole, that was the whole way back window. With that, with that sentence out of the Quran. I, I guarantee you, uh, the Lord's mom, she, she, she wasn't with him going and getting crucified and all that. Remember when he was on the cross? When he was on the cross. He looked down. He said, he said, "Behold, thy son." You know, like you're proud of me now, mom. You know what I mean? A certain woman of the company lifted up her voice and said to him, Blessed is the womb that bear thee. Blessed is the pussy. Oh, yes. Blessed is that stinking ass pussy. <laughs> That's a good scripture. In the, in the past where he saw that, I sucked. And he said, Yea, rather, blessed are they that hear the word of God and keep it. He corrected the bitch. Yeah. He corrected it. Yeah, they ain't got to do nothing with what you came out the blessed womb. Yeah. And like that's some miracle pussy all of a sudden now. She's just like everybody else. Right, and she's back now doing some adultery shit somewhere probably. Well, hopefully not, <laughs> you know? Cause there's very few women that are, Cause the, the Lord done totally took the woman out of her proper spirit. That's right. And all these women is out of order. Yeah, she's back now, man. Like we was talking about uh, hoes on the way up here. You know what I'm saying? We seen a bitch get picked up. Yeah, we seen a couple of them get away. We seen one for sure. Yeah, we seen we see bitches get picked up, prostitutes all the time, left or right. You know what I'm saying? All these women are prostitutes. Oh. All of them. Oh. Even 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 if they're not actually out there on the streets getting picked up, they still prostituting themselves, having sex with thousands of men. They gonna stick with this one dude because he got millions. That's being a prostitute. Yeah, right. And we know there's some cool hoes out there too. You know what I mean? And we ain't judging you cool hoes, you know? There's some cool hoes, right? <laughs> yeah. You meet some cool hoes. Yeah, there's some cool hoes. There's some cool hoes, you know? Well, we your bitch married it. <laughs> right, we don't judge them hoes, you know what I mean? <laughs> We don't judge them hoes. Well, yeah, until you get to catch some shit, that bitch. Get some bumps. <laughs> nah, I ain't fucking. With, I ain't fucking with your girl. Hey, I'm. Hey, you ain't gonna be no different than any other bitch. Yeah, though. that's why I said that you, you might know? as well get a cool hoe. Really, that's just the reality of it, man. Because they're all hoes, so you might as well get one that's kind of down to earth and cool. Right. Better let it soak in some fine oil for about a week. Get some oils. <laughs> well, you definitely, if you get one of these bitches, you gotta definitely make sure your woman is not eating pork. There's nothing worse than having a... Like, having sex with a woman that eats pork, that's almost just as bad as eating pork yourself. Because you're laying down, becoming one, joining your spirit and flesh with a swine's flesh, pretty much. So if you get with a woman, like sometimes, like you, see, you might have to put her through a, if you're really serious, you really like this girl, you might have to put her through a purification process. Yeah. <laughs> At least a couple weeks or something. Right. If she was eating year. pork, tell her to stop eating for a minute before you, you know, have sex. This is a, uh, her name is, she was a, 
Her name was uh, Annette Kellerman. Was that? And she was a um, back in the early 1900s. She was a silent field star. Oh yeah. Uh, she was a uh, an athlete, a swimmer, a writer. She was multi doing all kind of crazy shit. But anyway, back in um, 1907, I think she got arrested for wearing tight shit. Damn. You know. She got arrested for that. Yeah. This is it right here. She would have shit herself if she seen the future. Is that your homie with the crucifix card on his chest? That's the photo she got arrested for. There's another one too that they she didn't have. That ain't nothing. She didn't have them black leggings on. Hold on. And she got arrested for that. She look like Sharon Osbourne. Hold on. Oh no, she don't. She look like that. She look good too. Her name is Annette Killerman. You can't get that camera ain't gonna pick it up. She was the popularest woman on earth back then. Annette, just do a research on Annette Killerman. And shit, that ain't nothing compared to what these women wear these days. She got right. She got arrested for public indecency. Um, and, and she was wearing, at least her uh, tight ass pants went all the way down to her uh, ankles. <laughs> Cause that's all it is. She got the same shit on they wearing now. Yep. You get that the other camera. Shit. She got arrested for. What's up, homie? You got that other camera? See, arrested. Yeah, I got it. Arrested and. Hell, Satan, brother. Oh, shut the fuck up with that bullshit. That's real Christian. I'm ignorant as fuck, man. Yeah, you don't know what Christian is. He's wearing skinny jeans. Teach him the Bible. Like, fuck him. Hell, Satan. Yeah, he's coming out of the scriptures, translating it from Greek and Hebrew. Yeah, well, fuck with you. Fuck your Greek and Hebrew. The true definition. We're the real Jews, bro. Those Jews over there in Israel are not the real Jews. No, because they're, they're not real Jews. No, they're not. We're all here. If you would shut the hell up for a second, let me show you something. I don't know what that's not. Billy Graham. No, what you stop for? 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 They're not allowed to. They're under a 501c3 charter code. What? Why are you so angry? I'm not angry. Well, actually, I am angry. Actually, I am angry. All right. 